Hello again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Ubuntu Server 18.04 by using VirtualBox Manager. So uh, these servers, these machines are already installed, and now I'm going to create a new one. Let's say Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, I'm creating the virtual machine and next uh, the memory I can take up to 2 gigabyte, okay, 2 gigabyte RAM for my virtual machine and then I click next uh, create a new one a new hard disk a new virtual hard disk and this is the hard disk file type anytime you like I just click the default VDI and the uh, dynamically allocated selected uh, it means that uh, when you choose the like size like 20 GB 20 GB uh, after you installed uh, it's the file also uh, remain 20 G 20 GB but uh, sorry allocated uh, it's not that that is the foot size foot size if you choose have this 20 GB when you install the file size of this machine will be uh, 20 GB but if you choose dynamically when you select 20 GB uh, after you install the file size will be not 20 GB it's depend on the uh, uh, operating system like Linux you install maybe they, they are they take uh, only 5 GB maybe yes this is dynamically allocated option so I choose dynamically allocated and then I click next the size I may take 20 GB this is a name Ubuntu 18.04 any name you like so I create I create a virtual hard disk now yeah and uh, now I'm having empty machine so now I'm going to start the machine to install the uh, Linux Ubuntu Okay, I'm having ISO file. I already downloaded here. You went to 18.04. How? Oh, uh, 64 bits. Start. Just wait, it's uh, booting up. Okay, now um, we come to this. We can choose the English language. Press enter. Wait, uh, press enter. Uh, layout, just keep it default. Done. Yes, uh, install Ubuntu. Enter. This is the this is the IP configuration for the interface so let's do it by default ok proxy address now just leave it blank use entire hard disk manually or entire hard disk is different what is different between this uh, use entire disk is mean that uh, like 
you are having 20 GB hard disk, if you are using entire hard disk, they will format all everything in the hard disk and then they install Ubuntu for you. If you are having two partitions, let's say, one hard disk and two partitions, and then if you are using uh, second partition as your data store, and then if you are using entire the hard disk option here, it will be remove everything, so your data will be gone. So you need to use manual, and then you select the partition you want. But I'm going to show you how to use entire disk uh, because manually is not required for my testing here. So I will use entire hard disk because I'm having only one hard disk and the new hard disk. So I am click enter. So this is the hard disk 99.99 GB. So I, they will choose this. I press enter. So they will divide it into uh, partition. So if you want to edit the partition, just go to reset and then uh, you change the partition you want so I just go by default done are you sure you want to continue yes I want to continue it is uh, your name uh, your name can be any name this is my name Buntha and uh, server name uh, you can set any server name like server and uh, some other things and this is a username you use to log in this is my user login name and the password I choose my default password 12345 that's it this is easy so after that I choose done then and enter okay now the step it is installing the Ubuntu 18.04 now so just wait for it to be finished because the process is h line so it will be the last step you need to wait so it will be uh, sometime it will be rebooting several times also so just wait Okay, now uh, it's still continuing installing, so it, uh, it's uh, just wait for this. Okay, now it is finished installing, so uh, we need to reboot the system. So press reboot now and we will reboot the system. It is booting up now. Okay, now I'm uh, yeah, I'm logged in with my username. I just created and then the Password I just created. Yeah, now I'm able to use my server. So that's it for today that I installed Ubuntu server. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.